tell you the So, hi, I'm uh, Dr. Gruner. I'm a sports medicine uh, physiatrist at Washington Sports Medicine Institute and have the pleasure of talking with uh, Dr. Portier, uh, who is a primary care physician in the state of Maryland, who was interested in learning about um, uh, having a procedure for uh, regenerative medicine. And we're going to talk about her experience today. Um, Dr. Portier came in uh, with knee arthritis and shoulder arthritis and was interested in understanding what were non-surgical treatment options that she could do to manage her arthritis and uh, would love to get your thoughts and opinion as a physician, if you could describe why you were interested in this procedure and what procedure you had. Thank you very much. Yes, I am. I was actually hoping that by the time I actually had to have some intervention, that something like lipogens would come along. And when I first read about it, I thought, well, stem cells sounds a little far-fetched, but if it's using your own cells to heal your own body, that would be absolutely fantastic. But also to have something minimally invasive compared to undergoing major surgery and all of its consequences uh, that uh, it was just uh, my hope that this would be a great alternative to having a total knee or having even shoulder surgery uh, to keep me functioning. I am very active. I still work 60 hours a week. I had no intention of retiring. I did not want to take off two hour, two months to abandon my patients, even for rehab. And I just thought the package that's offered through Lipogens with the long-term uh, hope of uh, uh, continued working and uh, being able to do so with minimal discomfort or pain or mostly debility, I just have this thing that I do not want to stop. <laughs> so Lipogens was just, when I heard your lecture, I could I told you I wanted to be your first patient <laughs> on that. I, I really do appreciate that. And uh, do you mind describing the procedure you had and what 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 is this procedure, Lipogems? And uh, uh, if you could describe it just from, from your perspective. Well, from my perspective, what I went through, first of all, the qualifications, the ultrasounds, the x-rays, the understanding of what was actually going on in my body was very informative. And also your willingness to help intervene was great. Uh, the staff was quite professional while being, uh, what can I say, very respectful and not making me feel like an interloper or anything. Uh, the In each phase of your department, whether it was the x-ray or the people showing me, hey, wear this lovely paper outfit, whatever, they were all very gracious and very thoughtful and uh, made me feel welcome. Uh, the actual procedure, I was amazed because it was just a regular room and there was this table. Uh, I had to be face down on my stomach uh, when I needed. My right shoulder was the worst part of my pain, so I knew I couldn't sustain that for the whole procedure. They were nice enough to take me in place and give me support. Uh, then um, you uh, had a person managing the suction products who was pretty high level, I guess, in lipogen, and thank you for that, and two other assistants in the room. Uh, and uh, as we uh, went through, uh, you numbed up my uh, both sides of my buttocks and uh, lots of lidocaine, I'm going to guess, because I hardly felt anything. <laughs> and um, then, as far as I understand, you kind of dissected the area with a lot of normal saline and uh, then went diving down deep to get my fat cells from the best location. And I know that uh, the person that was managing the product that you retrieved asked you to go deeper and find better cells and you did. And um, you got, I think 18 ml uh, from 
the two sides combined and we decided that, you know, more is always better when it comes to stem cells. That was my theory anyways. And uh, then after that part was over, um, I was able to be upright and in a comfortable position uh, with my knees bent. Uh, you had to drain the right knee because it had a good amount of fluid. And then after that, uh, both knees got five ml, I believe, of each of the um, uh, intensely stem cell and uh, fat cells, and then also into my shoulder, and then three more went into my deltoid, which also had a tear, because I had a terrible tumble back in November. And so uh, with all of that, uh, there was no anesthesia, which uh, I don't know how many people know, but after the age of four, every anesthesia that we go under does ding our brain. And I live by my brain. So I was extremely grateful not to have to endure any anesthesia, much less prolonged anesthesia. And my husband was on stun after I got reassembled and just walked out of the place like as if nothing happened. But I really felt quite comfortable. And he looks up and goes, what, you're done? <laughs> Because it was only an hour and 15 minutes, I think. So, you know, and it's like, okay, go home. <laughs> and so uh, the rehab afterwards, uh, you really do need uh, that two weeks of downtime. But I did have three joints injected. And my body let me know that it was very busy in repairing. Uh, I was very good, did no NSAIDs and just only used the Tylenol. Uh, but I never went more than four 500 milligram Tylenols in a day and often not even that. Um, and by the third week, I was feeling significantly better. And now I'm practically two months out and uh, my pain does not go beyond a three. So I'm very, very excited. So thank you. No, I appreciate that. And um, it's really nice to hear how satisfied you are with uh, lipogenesis lipogems out of us treatment for both your knee and shoulder. And I think, you know, we really try to make patients feel very safe, make sure that we're uh, using very sterile conditions, that we're doing the procedure uh, with the least amount of pain possible and try to numb up the area and then make sure we're doing it as accurately as possible under ultrasound guidance so we can get it into a rotator cuff injury or into the shoulder joint or into the knee joint. So you can make sure that the, the, the medicine that you're getting, uh, whether it's platelets or uh, stem cells is, is, is done uh, accurately and in the right location. So I'm uh, really happy that you, you had a great results and I really appreciate you taking the time with me to talk with me today, uh, Dr. Portier. I say too, on my prowess now, I can alternate my legs going up and down stairs. I was going up one step at a time. So now I can use both legs. That's also, a, you know, a benefit. And that I have improved reach on my arms and everything. So, um, and function. And like I said, to get my body back with hardly any intervention, big intervention, but hardly any stability going through the procedure was just marvelous. And I do think it's going to be the wave of the future. Well, thank you so much. I really appreciate you taking the time that, to, to give your experience and, and hope you have a great day. You too.